so these are some of the interesting facts baba ji ji the garuda the divine eagle is the symbol of divinity connected to lord vishnu and we all know divinity vishnu we are talking about shravana it has to be there crane which is the animal bird associated with this nakshatra is also associated with the various other countries mythology chinese japanese greek so when we stick only to our mythology there is more much more to explore always do that so what crane symbolizes which we can see again yet again in shravana natives freedom intelligence longevity good fortune royalty prestige and all the honor prestige all these also responsible for capricorn sign as well so look how the animal symbol animal bird is giving the same symbolization connecting to us the shravana kindness generosity which we have already discussed in the garuda part friendliness so these people are very friendly in nature care for people very social nakshatra we can say social responsibility the nature of preserver all these are the qualities of lord vishnu himself which is coming to the animal uh, as well it cannot be a coincidence there has to be some reason why it was assigned to this nakshatra eagles they are the symbols of power freedom and the divine existence commonly known as the king of the birds eagles and also they symbolizes happiness good fortune again the devotion so this one was for the crane this one was uh, for the eagles here it is an interesting point as we discussed the nagas were the step brothers of the garuda from kadru so and who depicts the kundalini energy and i often talk about the opposite nakshatra on my social uh, 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 platform how the opposite nakshatras are working so kundalini energy as soon as i researched it degree kali the opposite nakshatra to shravana is ashilesha that's where the kundalini is so we can also learn as they were not having a good chemistry that shravana natives might have some trouble with the ashilesha natives so this i tried and tested with few charts it was working bang on maybe the most of the uh, more of the western audience can put their feedback or their comment in the section below and let us know that how they find it because it was working bang on in five charts i did it and uh, they were having some issues with their step brothers or step step sister and also the step mothers like kadru and again opposite to shravana is ashilesha so i find it very interesting how the opposite nakshatra scheme was working so eagles and cranes also both are predators for snakes so again we can learn the chemistry part it is not working with them yes and for the monkey we all know it represents playfulness the service aspects jumping from one position to another and it is a chara nakshatra so they have the habit of going from one place to another they cannot sit uh, at one place for a longer time they like movement which we can learn from the animal symbology which we can learn from the symbology as well <coughs> from the arrow part they love the movement that is why it is a chara nakshatra and also i have mentioned sir the gate is um uh what you call the limp associated with the capricorn sign and if you see the monkey how they uh, walk so shravana natives at certain age or uh, they might have some uh different kind of a chal which we say in hindi uh, a gait how they uh, walk that also i have seen in shravana natives because the three footsteps is not also 
uh, equal footsteps it also called unequal footsteps so they might have some leg issues they might have some different kind of walking style that we can learn from the shravana natives so that is why it is important so uh, uh, again some more interesting points what are the festivals coming into the shravan mass the shravan month what are those festivals so the first one when i did the research the first one is onam we all know what onam is it is celebrated by people in kerala to welcome mahabali it is coming in a shravana month avni avitam which is the paired nakshatra which is uh, 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 associated with dhanishta because shravana and dhanishta are a paired nakshatra and also they are again another theme which we can learn from these two nakshatras are shravana and dhanishta they go very well so their chemistry is very good that also i have observed so the going away of mahabali also happens in shravana month which is called upakarma so on this day the brahman change their janehu the thread in this month again uh, in the shravana nakshatra of shukla paksh that is you can learn uh, on the Shra- shravan purnima that you can go through one can go through in their free time another one was the lord vishnu took the form of hayagriva the hot heads to restore the vedas again preservation preserving the quality of vishnu coming into effect and that we can see in shravana natives as well rakhi again the connection between the two people the connection between the brother and sister which is all about shravana is also celebrated in the shravana mass in the month of shravana sola somvar those who are associated with india they all know what sola somvars are so again it is associated with shravana mass nag panchami celebrated on amavasya of shravana month again done in shravana mass and then again the guru this all starts uh, after the guru purnima day which was very interesting garud panchmi pray to lord garuda in order to gain strength and courage happens in shravana mass samundra manthan which we all know about it is believed to happen in the month of shravana again in the month of shravana so i find it very interesting so these are very uh, uh, basic uh, self under uh, points interesting points for shravana sir okay so another slide what exactly it means i have given just the key words if someone has moon in shravana what exactly it means so moon in shravana they will be fond of traveling again moon in is involved they like to travel in shravana it is a chara nakshatra they love traveling studying the distant and foreign lands good speech fond of good food that is all sun in shravana political difficulty with superiors authority rebellious nature because sun is coming into the capricorn sign of shani so lot of ego problem so that is sun in shravana so the the big the big remedy for that is a universal remedy anyways but sun in shravana get let of of your ego otherwise you will be in a situation of mahabali if you don't give up you will be in trouble he did give up that is why in later on he got everything from lord vishnu mars in shravana good communication oral or written gain from the real estate we can say that can be a chatterbox what we are doing all day long right now on the social media which is happening so they will have less developed listening skills because soldier does not want to listen he only wants to perform and put their energy into talking so that is why it is called mars in shravana a chatterbox mercury in shravana 
so we can say they might be slow in communication interesting very interesting in learning and might speak less that i have seen mercury in shravana jupiter in shravana even though it's a debilitated sign but very good in preaching because again this is the another thing most of us connect shravana only to the lesson part but lesson will only happen when he, um i will be only able to learn when baba ji ji is speaking if he is not speaking then how i will be able to learn the way so, i am learning from you now no, no. <laughs> yes so this is the key theme for shravana listen more listen more and do less of the ignorant stuff and that's what you going to find in shravana natives you will find five people talking and one not talking but observing everything 100% bang on shravana native we all have those one of those friends who is speaking less but observing everything what is going around just like vishnu what is happening but he will only strike when he was he wants to strike shravana natives they will only speak when they want to speak and jupiter in shravana what i have seen very good in preaching oratory skills speaking qualities are very good jupiter in shravana and they have a keen hunger to get the knowledge because here the ghada is empty the the glass of water is empty they need more 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 of the knowledge that's what a key theme i have found it in jupiter in shravana venus in shravana even though it is a friendly sign to saturn venus is a friendly sign to saturn but in my research what i have found in many charts that venus does not like shravana nakshatra it does not like the position to sit in the shravana again not to give any fear to the audience but this is what i have seen because again going back to the mahabali story shukracharya got blinded by a woman of tar or by we can say by lord vishnu so that is why venus does not like this nakshatra or like to sit in these or we can say bit uncomfortable sitting in the, in its in this nakshatra and also what i have seen baba ji ji you will find very interesting if by the tribhagi dasha or by any other dasha if your shravana is active and you have venus in shravana connecting to your fifth lord or your ninth lord ninth lord of gurus speaking uh, preaching teaching or the uh, uh, fifth lord of as a student there is a quite possibility one of your student might ditch you i have seen it in one chart wow so depending up, because that is the same my uh, thing happened with mahabali so if you one is a teacher not teacher or in any other profession depending upon the house it is sitting in it is a quite possibility if it is active the things pertaining to that house the significance to that house might not listen to you quite possible so do more research on it if you uh, and uh, i want to ask all the audience and uh, get back to us what what their thoughts are because i'm pretty sure uh, most of them a lot of them or few of them must be having venus in shravan because this is a consist- consistent theme i have seen venus in shravana if it is active someone in your subordinates if you are work if you are not a teacher you are working for someone someone in your uh, subordinate might ditch you at that time might not listen to you at that time it is quite possible saturn shravana very active hard working in nature they are the one who are called perfectionist because saturn sitting in its own sign and called perfectionist very focused like the arrow and reputation conscious again the prestige these are the people shravana native very prestige conscious because it is falling in the sign of 10th house for them the prestige is very important how they are seen in the world that is naturally the 10th house as well 
the prestige and all. Rahu and Shravana, these are the natives, sir, who will not listen, no matter what you will say. That is why it is important for them to listen. Listen, just like I have mentioned, the inner voice. The inner, the, the Brahma who is sitting inside us. We don't have to go out. Everything is inside. So we have to listen to that voice. So hard for them to sit still for a long time. Obsession for the authority and fame. Again, because the 10th house is involved here. So the Rahu and Shravana, what I find, very obsessive about the authority and prestige. Ketu and Shravana, these are the natives who are absolutely silent. And these are the natives who, who are listening constantly the inner voice. These are the people who will work more, listen more, and work hard. They are the, there is a difference between speak less in Mercury in Shravna and being in a silent mode in Ketu in Shravna. So imagine if someone has second lord or second house Ketu in Shravna. These are the natives who will speak very less, observe more, and work more. And they will only speak when they are meant to speak. So very good in listening the inner voice. So these are the sir, few key points for all the audience if they have Shravana Nakshatra. And the another thing which I want to tell the audience is we only think that when we have Sun in Shravana, Mars in Shravana, only then the Shravana is active. We are absolutely wrong. Imagine someone has name as Shravan Singh. We all know the story of Shra Shravan Kumar. Imagine someone has name of Shravan Singh, but no planet in Shravana. So what we what do you think that his Shravana will not be active? His Shravana is hundred percent active by his name in his life. Yes, yes. Because it is a big myth that only the 10 nakshatras are working in our chart. All the 27 nakshatras are working day and night for you. Yes, always. Always. But it will be more active, more intensified, more powerful if you have certain planets sitting in it and you are running the dasha of it. Or running the dasha of 10th house. Or running the dasha of moon. Then all the moon nakshatras will be active in your chart. So... If someone comes to me and they say, we don't have our chart, what I do at that time is I do the sound analysis of their name and use the mythology and do the predictions. And eight out of 10 times, it always worked bang on. So very important to understand that. And another disclaimer for this age, whoever is watching, uh, many times people think that Oh, my Venus is in Shravan. None of the things that you have said holds true. You yeah, yeah. know about astrology. You are a liar. You are a thief. <laughs> you are misleading people. You don't know anything, basically. Yes. So, please look at your entire horoscope once again. The million dollar disclaimer, which I uh, yeah. never get tired of speaking. <laughs> yeah. no, it's good that you have mentioned that because that's the common... Um, yeah, so, I also get on well, my channel. I said this because uh, I mean, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but today morning no, no, no. I got a mail from a lady. Okay. She said, uh, "Oh, you made a video on Rahu, and I disagree with that video. None of the things that you said was true, true. for me." So I was like, "All right, so that means I need to give the disclaimer today." Right, <laughs> and it totally makes sense that the uh, disclaimer which you have mentioned again. If you are the one who thinks that way, if one who puts that comment, then this definitely this nakshatra is very important for you because you need to listen again what we are trying to interpret. It. You need to listen what the 10th house, the 10th house Shravana is signifying in your chart. It can be in the 4th house. In the Kalapursha it is in the 10th house, but in your chart it can be in the 10th house. Or if you're a Sagittarius Ascendant, it can be in your ten, uh, second house. Listen to the second house. The another thing which we can learn, Babaji Ji, son in Shravana, listen to your father. 
Yeah, yes. Mar Singh Sharma, listen to your siblings. If it's afflicted, you might not listen to your younger siblings. Whatever advice they want to give. And again, again, using the signification of the house, if it is in the fourth house, take the signification of the uh, mother. Real estate. You might not take the advice of the real estate from your mother. Yeah, and regarding this slide, I think um, Saturn, Saturn is a planet which will do very good in this nakshatra because <laughs> because if you see the story of Bali Maharaj, then what happened? Sun will Sun may not do that great here because he lost his he lost his uh, two things happened with him. He lost his existing kingdom. And he also lost what he could have gained if he would have completed the Ashwamedha Yagya. He would have become Indra. Indra, yeah. Okay, so then he would be the king of the heavens. So these two things he lost. So that's, right. that is something which is visible here. But if you see what happened later on, this many people don't know actually. Many times people, they just know about this story and then they're like, oh, that's it. Mama Navtar is a word. But there is something very interesting here about Saturn. Uh, when he when he became humble, like Bali Maharaj took two steps. In one, he measured the lower planetary systems. In one, he measured the upper planetary systems, all the 14 planetary systems. And his toe went till the uh, Viraja River. Right. And then the shell of the universe blasted. Water flew water came down from the Viraja river. That is Mother Ganga. Right. That is Mother Ganges. And Brahmaji took that in his commandal. <laughs> right. So, but then what happened later on? Then Bali Maharaj asked that, uh, then Vamandev asked that, where should I put my third step? Then he said, put it on my head. All right. So basically he agreed to become humble. Right. And uh, actually, it's not exactly humble, it's humiliation kind of. So many times, uh, I always tell people that they think Jupiter, Saturn both represent humility. Have you heard this? Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, they will say Jupiter is humility because it represents good qualities, right? Right. And Saturn also represents humility. So how can it be that one thing is represented by both? No, actually, it's not true, actually. Jupiter represents humility naturally, natural humility. Like when you go to a guru, you are humble, you are bowing down and etc. Right. Saturn represents humiliation. Right. When yes. somebody humiliates you, then you you are forced to become humble. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Bali, Bali Maharaj, out of uh, this hatred which Shukracharya has for the devatas, he poisoned him so terribly that go and do Ashwamedha again and become Indra because anybody who does 100 Ashwamedha Yagyas becomes Indra. Right. So in that this thing can also be seen that something which you are planning to hit na, that 100th Yagya that right. may not be successful for you. Right. So that also I have seen sometimes if this is active then people tell that uh, okay you know, I wanted to do this everything happened but the last step wo jo <laughs> missing last thing did not happen but then what happened he uh, he that did not happen for bali maharaj and then vamandev said that uh, then he was very happy when he said put it on my head you know? right then what happened bali maharaj uh, vamandev was so happy he gave him lot of booms actually right so then the first boon which he got was, many people may not know this, that's why I'm just adding a few No, no, it's good, good, good. It's good to mention yeah, this. The first boon he gave was, 